Hey there. I want to show you a quick and easy way to set up a simple 2D VTuber effect using a couple of PNGs and OBS Studio. Uh, the only thing you need to have is a plugin called Move Transition by Exceldro. Let me show you how it's done. So we go over here and we want to make sure we download the Move Transition plugin for OBS Studio. This only works in OBS Studio, doesn't work in slobs or anything else, unfortunately. Uh, but let's go ahead and download it. Um, there's a auto installer uh, that'll just install it where it needs to go. You can also install it manually if you know how to install uh, OBS plugins. Once that's installed, you want to make sure if you already have OBS open that you restart it. That way it uh, installs the plugin correctly. Now that we have the plugin installed, we want to make sure our artwork is set up properly. So uh, we want to have our artwork and we just need to prep it so that we have the two different images that we want to do. I have this creepy little blue face ball thing and that's what we're going to use for our puppet today. And all I've done is save two versions of this picture in a transparent PNG with different uh, faces. One with the mouth closed here and one with the mouth open here. And uh, I have them saved here. Uh, I have them labeled open and close. And we're going to bring these two images into OBS. Boom. We have our sources here. Just going to resize them. That way they fit the screen. And let's just make those just a little bit smaller. We're going to use the transform here to center to screen. You can also use control D. And then I'm also going to copy transform. And then for our other picture here, I'm going to paste transform and that will use the same settings. And so now we have both images here stacked on top of each other, which is perfect. Now that we have that set up, all we need to do is add a filter to our microphone. So uh, the best way to do that, you can just right click on your mic, click on filters. And then down here, you wanna click on the little plus button. And if you have the Move Transition plugin installed, you should see at the very top, Audio Move. Go ahead and click that. This is going to be uh, open mouth, sure. And then we just need to move our setting. So I'm gonna move this off to the side here so you can see what we're doing. We are gonna set this up so that our source is visible. We want the blue face as our scene and the blue face open PNG as our source. And then we're going to set it to enable over and disable under. And so when we do that, what that's going to do after we set our threshold, uh, let's do one. Boom. As you can see, when I talk, the microphone activates, which turns on the picture. You can even see the little eyeball down here at the bottom actually turns on and off as you speak. And so we get this little talking animation and it's great. So depending on your microphone, you may need to mess with the threshold to, to get the right um, settings to work properly. Another thing is obviously, if you have a lot of noise in the room with your microphone, anything that picks up in the background will also activate the little talking animation. So having things like noise suppression, proper sound in your room and everything like that will help make sure that the animation plays right. Okay, so now we have that. That's all fine and dandy. This is super cute. But we can go one step further and we can actually make this little bouncing head effect. We can make it bounce up and down as it pops. Uh, the way I like to do that is with a nested scene. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna make a new scene. I want this to be as a part of my webcam. And maybe I wanna turn it on with like a channel point reward or something like that, right? And so we have our webcam scene. We're going to add this scene in by clicking the little plus button and clicking on scene and choosing blue face. And now we've brought in the blue face scene as a single source. And now we can uh, do another audio filter with it. So go to our mic filters. We're going to click on the little plus. Going to audio move. 
this one is puppet mode. We are going to keep it on transform. We're going to choose webcam. We're going to choose our source as blue face. And uh, as you can see, it's already already kind of doing what we want. It's just doing it the wrong way for what I want. It's doing it on position X. I'm going to change it to position Y. And now it's bouncy. Look at that. Now, this is really bouncy. Maybe this is too bouncy. That's going to be changed here by this factor. Again, this is going to depend on your microphone. Uh, depending on the settings that you have here is going to be what you want to put it at. So uh, let's just say 100. Take a look. Yeah, that seems to work. And there you go. The, the effect itself is pretty simple, but effective. I mean, I, I, I think it looks great. <laughs> Creepy, but great. Uh, yeah. Um, the cool thing about this is because it's just a couple of pictures, you can do whatever you want. Like different little faces, different cartoon characters, bring them on screen, all sorts of stuff like that. If you end up using this particular technique to bring your little PNG VTuber things to life, I'd love to see an example of it. Please share it on social media or whatever and tag me in it. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I think it's just really cool. I think it's I think it's silly, but I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye.